Hello everyone. Greetings of the day. Today we are going to discuss the regional cuisine of India, Andhra Pradesh or Andhra cuisine. Scope. Understanding the geographical location, understanding the historical background, understanding the seasonal availability, understanding the special equipments, understanding the staple diets, understanding the specialty cuisine for festival and occasions. Introduction. Andhra cuisine refers to the cuisine consumed by the people of the India state Andhra Pradesh and also sometimes known as Telugu cuisine. As it is a native to a Telugu people, generally known for its tangy, hot and spicy taste. The cooking is very diverse due to the vast spread of the people and a very topological reason. Rice is predominant in irrigated Andhra and Ralasima regions and Ragi is popular in Ralasima region which is predominantly semi-arid. Many of the curries known as Kura, snacks and sweets vary in the method of preparations and differ in names too. Andhra Pradesh state is the leading producer of red chili and rice, making the food one of the richest and spiciest in the world. Vegetarian as well as meat and seafood, coastal area, features prominently on the menu. Papu, tomato, gungura and tamarind are largely used for cooking curries. Spicy and hot varieties of pickles form an important part of Andhra cuisine. This is a small map of Andhra Pradesh with its district and surrounded by Orissa, Chhattisgarh, Telangana, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu from all the sides and on the other side Bay of Bengal forming the second largest coastal line of India. Geographical description Andhra Pradesh state of India located in the southeastern part of the subcontinent it is bounded by the Indian state of Tamil Nadu to the south Karnataka to the southwest and west, Telangana to the northwest and north, and Odisha to the northeast. The eastern boundary is a 600 miles, that is 970 kilometer coastline along the Bay of Bengal. Telangana was a region within Andhra Pradesh for almost six decades, but in 2014, it was carved off to form a separate state. The capital of Andhra Pradesh is Amaravati. Andhra Pradesh has got a coastal line of about 794 kilometers, which gives it the second longest coastal line in the nation. Two major rivers, Godavari and Krishna, runs across the state. The climate of Andhra Pradesh is generally hot and humid. The summer is followed by the monsoon, which starts during June and continues till. September. This is the season for heavy tropical rainfall in Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh can be divided into two regions, coastal Andhra and Ralasima. Andhra Pradesh has 13 districts Anantapur, Chittur, Kadapa, East Godavari, Guntur, Krishna, Karnul, Nilor, Prakasam, Srikalaram, Vikshakapatnam. Vijayanagaram district in India. Antapur is the largest district of the state and the seventh largest district in the India with an area of 19130 kilometers. Each district is divided into multiple mandals and each mandal has many village. Vaisakhapatnam is the largest city in the state followed by Vijayawada. Other important cities and towns are Kakinara, Guntur, Tirupati, Nelor, Ongul, Kurnul, Iluru, Rajmundri. History People of Andhra Pradesh basically belong to the Aryan race. The history of Andhra Pradesh dates back to the Asoka the Great. The state became an important Buddhist center during his reign. The evidence of the Buddhist influence can be seen in Amravati and Nagarajuna Konda. 
The Mughal influence on Andhra Pradesh is mostly realized in the cuisine of Andhra Pradesh. Culture Andhra Pradesh is famous for dolls and doll making. Dolls are made from wood, mud, dry grass, and light wet metal alloy. Tirupati is famous for redwood carving. Kondapalli is famous for mud toy with rich color. Folk dances unique to Andhra Pradesh include Burakata, Jangama, Katalu, Hari Katalu, Cheka Banjana, Urmula Natyam. And as you can see here in the pictures, with a few examples, which is a unique to Andhra Pradesh. Cuisine of Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh is famous for its hot and spicy cuisine along with its rich cultural heritage. The cuisine of Andhra Pradesh includes both the original Andhra Pradesh and the Hyderabadi cuisine having a Mughlai influences. The staple food of Andhra Pradesh is rice which is served with sambar. It is also served with other lentils preparations along with vegetables. Traditionally, Andhra cuisine is eaten on a banana leaf by people sitting on mat or small raised wooden seats. Andhra meal is characterized by the famous hot pickle, chutney, powders, etc. Curd is served as a cooling element that provides a respite from the hot spices. Seasonal availability. The amount of vegetables in the diet were found to be very low as 90% of the family surveyed did not include leafy and root vegetables in their daily diet. Non-leafy vegetables were consumed daily only by 50% of the families, indicating a low intake of vegetables and fruits compared with the recommendations of the Indian Council of in Medical Research. The survey revealed that the consumption pattern was based mainly on local as well as seasonally availability. Brinjals, lettuce finger, tomato, cluster beans, sour greens, amarat, potatoes and onion were the only most frequently consumed vegetables. The cooking method was commonly practiced while boiling vegetables with spices and with dal and frying. Rice is a major crop and staple food of the state contributing about 77% of the food grain production. Other important crops are jowar, basra, maize, ragi, small millets, pulses, castor, tobacco, chilies, cotton and sugarcane extra. Special equipments. Cheppa or chipa. This is a clay pot that is walk shaped and used for cooking chipa ghost. A lamb dish that gets its name from this equipment. Tathe. This is a metal hand similar to a barbecue griller which is placed and moldering charcoals to grill kebabs. Tiragali. This is a stone mill that is used for grinding rice to a perfect consistency for certain desserts such as adis, uh, adisam. Too fine a powder would make the desert too sticky to eat and too coarse a powder would be allowed it is shaped properly. Kavam. It is a kind of a churner used for churning buttermilk. It is nearly similar to a whisk. Special Equipments Ponganalu This equipment is made up of cast iron and is used for making a dish called Ponganalu which is eaten for breakfast. It has a round depression into which a batter of rice and dal is poured and covered over fire or cooked over fire. Jadilu these are a traditional pickle jars used to store homemade pickles. 
These are made from ceramic and it does not react with pickles. Rolu or Potra. This is a stone motor and pistol and is used for grinding whole spices and making chutneys. Staple diet. There are many regions varies due to topographic differences in Telugu speaking populations spread over a large area. They can be classified based on region into coastal Andhra, Ralasima, Telangana, cuisine. Cultural factors that have heavily influenced the cuisine over the years are the eating habits and the Hindu royal, Brahmin and the Muslim Nawabis royal families. Andhra Pradesh and Telangana state proximity with Western Central and Eastern India makes this border region's cuisine more diverse with Telugu populations spread into neighboring states. Different communities have their own variations and the rural area still follows the centuries old cooking habits and recipes. Coastal Andhra, Uttarandha Andhra and Ralasima. Coastal Andhra there is a costa. The coastal region costa is endowed with plenty of natural resources, hence the cooking and preserving methods are highly sophisticated. Hence rice dal and seafood are the staple diet of the people. This region is one of the largest producer of rice and chili. The recipe of underproduced coastal regions consists of seafoods mainly along with cereals and pulses. In coastal region, the poor and rich enjoy rice as a staple food or a diet. Olava charu is a famous soup made from the horse gram. Bombi, uh, Bombi dala palusu is a fish stew that is a speciality of a Andhra cuisine or Andhra dish. Uttarandhra. Uttarandhra region is the northeastern district of Srikakulam, Vijayanagaram, and Vaisakapatnam, bordering Odisha, its own distinct dialect and cuisine. The people of this region likes to eat many of their food sweeter than other regions of Andhra Pradesh. They often cook lentils in jaggery, belum papu. They cook vegetables and gra gravies of menthi petina kura, that is a fenugreek seeds paste, ava petina kura, that is a mustard seeds paste, nuvugunda kura, that is a sesame paste, etc. Ulikaram is another popular dish where vegetables and corn seeds are flavored in salads or onion paste. Puris and patoli is a favorite breakfast or festival dish. Atu, that is a dosa and idli are standard breakfast in Andhra Pradesh which is served with chutney. Enguva charu is a sour and sweet stew made with tamarind and hing, had with rice and upupindi, belampulu soup is another highly flavored thick sweet stew made with of rice flour, jaggery, corn cobs, and whole salads. The pickle vary from other regions of Andhra Pradesh. Avakaya is mango pickle, which is a part of a standard Andhra meal. Karampodi is popular curry powder that is served with idli, dosa, and upma. Even you can have or enjoy this with the hot rice topped with hot ghee. Ralsima region. Ralsima has its own culinary delights. Due to the region dry and arid area, the level of pungency and spice is high in food here. It is the southern region of Andhra Pradesh and the cuisine is famous for being spicy because of the liberal use of chili powder. It in almost all, all the dishes. Simakaram is unique to its dishes. 
There are different food and snacks made in the Relisma region. Some of the main courses include rice, jawar, ragi roti with a combination of nehi as well as ragi sangati, usually served with spinach or, or an pulusu. Ugani is a spicy dish and is one of the ethnic and authentic dishes of Relisma. Especially Antapur, Kurnul, uh, Kurnul and Kadapad district. Athira Salu or Athira Sa rice based vada using zagri. Pakam Undalu, a mixture of steamed rice flour, ground up zagri. Vorugu Undalu, a sweet variety made of uh, corn of jowar and zagri and Rawaladu are the sweet specialties. Masala Boruglu or Nagis, Mandaki like snacks, Ponganalu with rice flour, fry with onion, carrot, onion, chilies are other savory specialties. A typical Andhra main courses, cook rice, papu that's a dal, Curry is made with wide varieties of vegetables, including green leafy vegetables. Vipudu is a fried vegetable curry. Non vegetarian curry includes kori kora, then mutton, chepakura, royalu, and petala kura. Karam various types of dry powders made with lentils or chilies eaten with ghee. Pachari, that is a pickle, different kind of pickles, being mango pickle as one of the standard in their meal. Olavacharu, a uh, kind of a soup made out of a horse gram, traditionally eaten with the yogurt. Sometimes people love to have with the hot rice. Pulusu, a type of vegetables, curry, most typically exported to the west. Mazika pulusu, buttermilk cooked with turmeric and boiled vegetable. Perugu, that is a yogurt or maziga, maziga is a buttermilk. Appadam, that is a papadam, that is a papad. Sweet dishes, banana or other fruits. Tamalapakalu, vakapodi, also called as kili, veda or pan, made of fresh betel leaves, as canets, uh, pieces and lime. Delicacies. Modati muda. This means the first few bites of the meal mainly consist of four or few bowls of rice. Some of the typical uh, typical includes Daniala Karampori, roasted chilies ground with coriander seeds. Karibepa uh, Karampori, roasted chilies and curry powder. Swanti Podi, dry ginger ground with a pinch of salt. Nuvula Podi, sesame seeds grind with roasted chilies. Kotimira Karam, that is cilantro leaves ground with raw or roasted chilies. Kari Veku Karam, that is curry leaves ground with raw or roasted red chilies. Alam karam ginger ground with raw or roasted red and green chilies. Pachimira paya, uh, pachimira, mira paya kaya karam roasted and ground green chilies. Usiri kaya pachadi pickle Indian gooseberries typically mixed with roasted red chilies or chili powder. Nima kaya pachadi is pickle Indian key lime. Dabakaya Pachadi, Pickle Indian Grapefruits. Delicacies on breakfast. A typical under breakfast consists of idli, vada, dosa, uma, utukulu, or poha, bread or roti. Tea, coffee with milk or only milk is sometimes taken with this dishes. The most common dishes are andhra dosa, andhra upma, Andhra Vada, Andhra Atukulu or Poha, 
आंध्र रेट एंड रोटीज बेसिकली मेड आउट ऑफ जावर एंड जागरी चपाती पूरी एज वेल एंड फ्यू स्पेशलिटीज आर बिन गिवेन कूरा डेट इज अ करीज पोटी पाउडर डाल पेस्ट कॉन्डोमेंट एंड मिक्सिंग मिक्स विथ राइस एंड स्पून फुल ऑफ घी एंड सस्म सीड गुजू डेट इज अ ग्रेवी टोमेटो एंड कोरियडर सीड्स पेस्ट एडेड ड्रॉम स्टिक ब्रिंजल्स ओकरा एक्स्ट्रा फुलुसू डेट इज अ ग्रेवी अगेन काइंड ऑफ अ दाल ऑल्सो काइंड ऑफ कैन बी अ फुलुसू ग्रेवी पप्पू चारू थिक दाल ब्रॉच और चारू डायलूटेड थे असाम्बर Charu again is a rasam, clear soup. Pura kaya, that is abakaya, gongura, nemakaya, etc. Pickled. Pachadi again paste or saucy condiments or chutney. That is coconut, gongura, tomato, dosa kaya, alam, or many any other vegetables can be used in making the pachadi. Vepuru. Crispy fried vegetables, typically including okra, tindora, potato, and chamar dapam, the kola kasha. Karam peti kura or kura pori kura, sauteed vegetables, cooked with curry powder and paste, served as a solid mass. The vegetables can be stuffed with curry powder or paste and are usually cooked whole. Pulusu kura, boiled vegetables cooked in tamarind sauce and mustard paste. Pappu kura, boiled vegetables stay fried with little half cooked lentils. Other gravy based curries are chiefly made with vegetables cooked in tomatoes sauce and onion with coriander and cumin powder. Delicacies. The state has abundantly seafood and has extensively established poultry industry. Lamb meat is another traditional fare cooked with centuries old recipes. Palav or Andhra biryani, the Kodi Pulav, is one of the most enjoyed dishes across all of the states. Royal Pulav made with shrimp is considered a delicacy in home of coastal Andhra. Mutton biryani and mixed biryani, that is chicken, mutton, and shrimp, are the other popular biryani dishes generally available. There are many local variations such as Kaza biryani, Kunda biryani, that is pork biryani, Avakaya biryani, Olava Charu biryani, Panasa biryani. Kori, that is a chicken, Kori kura, and mutton, that is a lamb kura. Are two popular dishes often made with a range of spices and condiments. The state's large shrimp farming makes shrimps and prawns widely available. Delicacies. Talakaya kura, a delicacy which is made with the lamb head, coriander, and spices. Chepala pulusu, a luscious fish curry redolent with freshly ground spice and tamarind. Andalu chalapa vankaya, a flavorsome dry fish gravy cooked with brinjal. Royal kura, prawns cooked in a tangy paste of tamarind and onion. Gongura mamsam, a spicy curry made with tender lamb pieces cooked with gongura. Kori Gudla Pulusu, egg curry flecked with chopped onion, green chilies, and coriander. These curries are served with steamed rice, bagara khana, sajna that's millet, and jona that's a jowar. Under cuisine has some native non vegetarian snacks such as kori pakori, chicken 65, peta pakori, chepa vepudu. Ruella, Vepudu, etc. Bimavaram town in West Godavari district is very famous for its unique non veg pickle such as chicken pickle, shrimp pickle, and fish pickle. The agency forest near Rajmundri is very famous for bongo chicken, that is a bamboo chicken curry. Papu. 
తూర్ డాల్ కాండీ పప్పు వర్ముంగ్ డాల్ పెసర పప్పు కుక్డ్ విత్ ద వెజిటేబుల్స్ ఆర్ గ్రీన్ నో మసాలా ఇస్ ఎడెడ్ టు ద టాప్ సమ్ రీజన్ ఇంక్లూడ్స్ గార్లిక్ అండ్ ఆనియన్ ఇన్ ద సీజనింగ్ వైల్ సమ్ రీజన్స్ ప్రిఫర్ అస్ అ పోయితేదా హింగ్ సమ్ టైమ్స్ ద కుక్డ్ వర్జన్ ఆఫ్ ద దాల్ ఇస్ రిప్లేస్ విత్ ద రోస్ట్ ఆర్ గ్రౌండెడ్ వర్జన్ ఆఫ్ ద దాల్ లైక్ కాండీ పట్టి రోస్టెడ్ టూ దాల్ గ్రౌండ్ విత్ రిస్ రెడ్ చిల్లీస్ and pesara pachadi that is soft moong dal ground with red chili or green chili delicacies pulusu sar is a curry like stew that is typically sar and cooked with tamarind paste other common beast are tomatoes and mangoes the mixer can be flavored with mustard chili curry leaf jaggery onion and fenugreek fish chicken egg are typically meat additional pachi pulusu is an unheated version of pulusu typically made of mango and tamari consumed during warm condition majiga pulusu sar buttermilk boiled with chana dal and coconut paste menthi chala or menthi majiga the sar buttermilk seasoned with ginger green chili paste and menthi seeds fried in oil mukalu pulusu made with anapakaya perugu perugu is a curd and is normally consumed with an uh, accompaniment pachadi as uh, it gives the cooling effect to the body of the spice when you eat the spice delicacy snacks upma bondi pongunalu karapusa pakodi gare murukulu or jatnakalu bazi or bondu bondalu or punukulu maram maramaralu or pop rice bean pea snacks includes senagala talimpu googlu delicacies on the sweets and savories each form an important part of telugu culture met on festival and auspicious occasions they are given to visiting relatives some of the savories are also met for the evening snacks kotharekulu a sweet preparation where sweet powder with cardamom flavor is stuffed into with thin pancake skin made of rice flour kaja Madata kaza and kakinada kaza are released across the state. Sakinalu is one of the most popular savories in, in Andhra. It is often cooked during Makara Sankranti festival. And uh, these are a deep fried snack made with rice flour, sesame seeds and flavored with as wine. That is Vamo. Kajikai is a fried dumplings with the stuff of suji, coconut powder and sugar is usually prepared during Deepavali. Sunundalu, sunundalu ladu made from the roasted urad dal and jaggery. Sugar generously, uh, generously amount of ghee is added to enhance the taste. Purnam burelu. Chana dal is cooked to soft and cool jaggery and cardamom powder are added and the mixture is rolled into bowls here are the few examples which we have talked and mentioned in the earlier delicacies as you can see khaza sakinalu laddu okay delicacies Pulagam that is a pongoli a sweet preparation made on a festival morning as offering for their deity so rice is cooked with generous amount of well broken jaggery is added and finished with a splash of ghee and dry nuts or dry fruits payasam gabalu chakodi chakara that is a sugar pongal laskora undalu that is a coconut laddu and bundi pala thalikalu reva kesari pappu cheka jidilu malai khaja 
is a traditional Nellore sweet. Kobari, Lavuzu, Venapalu, Ariselu. These are a few delicacies mentioned for the sweets. Pachadi or Buragaya. No meal is complete without this very essential item. It is consumed on its own mixed with rice and is also eaten as a side dish with papu or kura. This can be broadly divided into two varieties that is pachadi and uh, uragaya. So this has a little difference. So let's see what are the difference here. Pachadi is a chutney basically and is made out of vegetable greens or roasted greens or red chili. It is prepared fresh and is consumed within a day or two. Vegetable pachri made with vegetable like bottle gourd, uh, eggplant, okra, etc. Ground together with roasted <coughs> red chili, green chili, fenugreek seeds, and mustard seeds. Green pachri, the most popular one is gongura pachri, made out of red sorrel leaves and roasted red leaves. Other than this, Chukka Kura Pachadi is also very popular. Uragaya Andhra is very famous for a variety of hot spices or hot spice pickle or hot spicy pickle. Nimakaya, Dabakaya, Uris, uh, Usiri Kaya have medicinal values that improves with easing. Uragaya is prepared in good amount seasonally and use liberal amount of chili powder methi powder and mustard oil so the mustard powder and oil a few of the urabaya includes avakaya it is made out of green mangoes mustard powder red chili powder and vegetable oil there are many varieties of avakaya with garlic without garlic and depending on other ingredients used Dosa avakaya, avakaya made with English cucumber, served as a substitute to the regular avakaya towards to the end of the season. A staple served during winter marriage when raw mangoes are not readily available. Korivi Karam. The spices of the pickle and a unique Andhra delicacies, it is made by grinding ripened red chilies with tamarind and salt. Pandu Mirapakaya is grown in abundance in the Palnadu regions of Andhra Kuntu district. Delicacies. Chintakaya made by grinding raw tamarind fruits and salt. It is made during the winter season. The marinated pickle is taken in small quantities and is made into a chutney with roasted red dry chilies whenever it is consumed. Nimakaya made by marinating Indian key lime in its own juice for a few days and then mixing it with salt, methi powder and chili powder. Usirikaya made by grinding Indian gooseberries and salt. The pickle is marinated throughout the year, pickle in some small quantities whenever needed and is made into a chutney by grinding it or uh, grinding it with roasted red chilies. Thank you very much 